Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to share you how to set up your WhatsApp campaign on Brevo. As you know, there are several ways that we could do when we're trying to market our product or trying to raise the brand awareness of our business. And one of the things that we could do is buy emails campaign or maybe social media posting and doing a whatsapp campaign is also one of the way that you can do when you're trying to reach out your customer so you can do that by using brevo all you have to do is go to app.brevo.com and then create your account and once you're done with creating your account you're going to be able to see a dashboard that looks like this and if you take a look at the navigation bar on the left side of your screen, you'll be able to see in all of the things that you could do with Brevo. You can create a web push, you can create a Facebook ads, even though this might need another plan. Now I'm using the free plan and I'm going to show you all of the selections of the plan that they have. And you can also create some templates. You can see the statistic of your campaign. You can setting it, you can create automation, etc. There's a lot of things that you can do with Brevo and you can also add the contacts if you later on will want to create a campaign in whatever form you want to create the campaign in and uh, let's take a look at the plan first so now I'm using the free plan and I still have 300 email left and let's take a look at all of the other plan that they have so here are the selections of plans that Brevo have First is the free one, which is the one that I'm currently using. It costs me nothing at all, and I will have 300 emails a day. And I can also customize the email templates. I can use the drag and drop editor. I can access the transactional email as well as SMS and WhatsApp campaign. And they have the starter business as well as the Brevo Plus plan. So here are the benefits that each plan came with. You can pause the video if you would like to take a look at it. And you can also customize your plan if you want by talking to Brevo Sales. Now that you know all of the plans that Brevo have, just make sure that you choose the plan that is the most suitable for you. Now we're going to go straight into connecting our WhatsApp. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to the campaign options on the navigation bar right here and then you will be able to see on all of the campaign that you will be able to make you can create an email campaign sms campaign whatsapp which is the one that we're going to do today web push facebook ad template statistic and you can also setting them later on on the setting sections right here so let's go and click on whatsapp and here, as you can see, I haven't got any campaign yet, so I'm going to go ahead and click Create Campaign. And here it says that with the WhatsApp campaign, I'll be able to reach out to my customers through WhatsApp. I can share important news, promote a line of product, or announce an upcoming event. And let's say that I'm going to name this as a test campaign. And then I'm going to be able to settings on which WhatsApp business account will I use to send this campaign or this message from and to whom will I send this message as well as the content of the message. Let's start with the from. So here it says that you will need to log into Facebook and link your WhatsApp business account to Bravo in order to schedule a campaign. Since I haven't connected my WhatsApp yet, let's try and connect it first. Go ahead and click on Manage Settings. And then over here, I'm going to have this login with Facebook options. And we're going to get further instruction on how we can do that. So it says that you must have a valid and a dedicated phone number to use WhatsApp Business API. And the phone number for the business must be a valid phone number which meets the WhatsApp Business Platform criteria. And then we also need a phone number that has not been associated with another business service provider. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. As for the business account, it says that we must have a personal Facebook account that linked to the business email. And if you have a Facebook business account created and logged in in the system, then you will have to authenticate it before you start the onboarding process by clicking login with Facebook. 
and here are the things that we will have to do so i'm going to go ahead and proceed all right so once we manage to connect our whatsapp account into our brevo on the facebook notifications right here we're going to be able to see and review on what bravo is requesting the permission to do so first it's going to request to manage our business and then they're going to ask to manage for the whatsapp account as well as managing and accessing the conversation on whatsapp and then once we're done we can finally start our whatsapp campaign and it says here that we're going to be able to create up to around 250 business insisted conversation as well as unlimited customer initiated conversation next after the tab that shows that we already connected our whatsapp to bravo we're going to be greeted by this page right here and then we can just click on go to campaign to start creating our whatsapp campaign so as you can see right here i already have my task campaign and then i'm going to go ahead and click on it and now since i already managed to connect my number to facebook as well as to bravo my number can appear on the from section and i cannot choose it to send my whatsapp campaign obviously if you have more than one number you can choose on the number you will want this campaigns to be but it means that you will also have to have like two different facebook business account as well as two different available whatsapp number and after that we're going to be able to select the recipient but since i don't have any contact added to brevo for now I'm going to show you how to do it. So first go ahead and click on the contacts option on the navigation bar and through there you'll be able to create your contact. You can choose whether you want to create your contact from scratch or you can import it if you already have pre-made data or a pre-made collections of your customer's number. So you can just go ahead and add the first name of your customer, the last name, the email, as well as the number. And if you're going to create the uh, WhatsApp marketing campaign, make sure that the number that you put into this contact section right here is a number that have WhatsApp account on it or else your message will not be delivered. And once you're done, you can also create a category for your contact information. This is going to be helpful for you if you're going to, let's say, create a multiple WhatsApp campaigns at once, you will be able to know which one is which. Because sometimes each project will have different message content in it. If you name your contact list on a certain folder, it's going to make it easier for you to know which customer will receive which message. And once you're done with your contact, you can go ahead and click on create. Now we can go back to continuing our WhatsApp campaign and we can finally select the recipients of our message. Right here, I'm just going to select on the project A, that is the name of the folder that I created for this test WhatsApp campaign. And as you can see, I ended up making two recipients inside of that folder. So I created another contact off screen. And after that, we can finally create our message content. So we can choose whether you want to use the templates or start from scratch. For the first time, you will always have to start from scratch. And after your template, is being reviewed and accepted by Meta, only then you will be able to use it over and over again. So to start creating from scratch, you can just go ahead and click on start creating button on the bottom right of your screen. And over here, you'll be able to name your template, select the type and select the language for your template, as well as choose your WhatsApp business number account. And once you're done with all of those details, you can finally create the content of your message. So right here, you'll be able to choose whether you want to have a header for your message or not. You can choose the header type, whether it's going to be a text or you can also add media as your header. So let's say that you want to 
highlight some opening words you can do that by typing it in on the text box or you can click on the media options and then upload the media that you will want to use as a part of your campaign message and right here i'm just inserting the logo of my business and then i'm going to continue and fill in the content of my text all right so this is how my message looks like i ended up adding some wording as well as creating a button at the very end of my message and once we're done with that we can click submit for approval and wait until Meta approve our message. After that, we can schedule our WhatsApp campaign and that basically it. So that is how you can set up WhatsApp campaign on Bravo. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.